Hello and welcome. Starting big school in the reception year can be a mixture of emotions. It can be really exciting, but it can also be incredibly daunting. As parents, there are a lot of things you can do to help prepare your child and get them as ready for school as possible. The Early Years team in Luton have worked closely with reception teachers to compile eight tips to help prepare your child, which I'll share with you now. Every child feels differently about starting school. Some embrace the change and can't wait to start. Others might not talk about it at all, and other children find it really worrisome. As parents, it's really important to tune in to how your child's feeling. Other ways to help prepare them emotionally for school are... Not every adult has had a positive experience with school. These experiences need to be put to the side and you need to try and talk about school and teachers in a positive way so children look forward to the experience. You might get an invitation to visit a transition meeting at your school in the summer term. It's important to try and attend this as many of your questions and concerns will be answered. If, however, you are unable to, to make the meeting and you have specific concerns regarding your child, contact the school directly to arrange a meeting. Most schools have a dedicated page for the reception class where you can together look at photos and activities the children are currently doing in reception and this will give you a sense of how exciting reception will be. There are some good books you can share with your child about starting school. This is a nice way to connect with them and talk about how characters feel about starting school and link it to how your child is feeling. It is really important to be mindful of when you start talking to your child about school. The wait from when they find out their school place in April or May until the first day they start in September can be really long. You might want to save the conversations about school till it's closer to starting and be mindful to not talk about it too much. It is important that your child has the language of their feelings and they're able to express themselves. If they're able to explain to the new adults how they're feeling and they're already, they've already learned the skills such as turn taking and sharing, they're going to settle into their new classroom a lot faster. When you're reading a book or watching a TV show, pause and ask your child questions such as, how do you think the character is feeling? If the child is feeling sad, hungry, happy, you might ask your child to show you their face when they feel that way. If your child is not yet able to label their feelings, you can label the feelings for them. Over time, they will hopefully be able to use this language to express themselves better. This will help lessen the frustration children feel with not being able to communicate. If your child has not had the chance to spend a lot of time with their peers whilst attending nursery or preschool, it might be a good idea to arrange some play dates. This is a good way to help children practice social skills. If they are struggling, it is a good idea to introduce them to phrases such as There will be roughly 29 other children in the class with your child. In regards to self-care, this is a very different situation to when they're at home with you or their siblings. It's really important to ensure your child is as independent with self-care as possible and you practice this before they start school. Of course, adults will be there to help your child if they have an accident. However, the faster your child is able to take care of themselves, the more confident they will be. Some tips of how to help them at home are Ensuring your child is independently able to go to the toilet is really important. This also includes making sure they know how to wash their hands properly when done in the toilet and before eating. These good hygiene skills will prevent them from catching and spreading unwanted germs. 
Children will be going in and outside on a regular basis. It's important that you get them practiced putting their coats and shoes on independently. Children will also have PE sessions in reception, so it's a great idea to get them practicing getting changed into their PE kit. You can time them and see if they can do it faster each time. It is important to teach your child how to properly blow their nose, making sure they blow out of their nose rather than their mouth. Encourage them to catch and bin their runny nose with a tissue. Many children will have school dinners. It is important to ensure your child practices using cutlery and a proper cup at home before starting school, as they won't have the same support as they do at home. Sleep is essential to help your child concentrate, learn, and do the best they can at school. Ensure a good bedtime routine is in place before they start school. Research shows that by the age of five, the greater number of words a child has, the more successful they're likely to be as adults. This is an area that needs to be supported at home. Things you can do with your child are... This might sound obvious, but assessment data from re reception teachers shows that for a lot of children, they're entering school with lower levels than they're expected to be at for language and communication. Make sure you talk to your child throughout the day to build their vocabulary. For example, at the supermarket, whilst cooking dinner, playing alongside your child, going on a journey, either on foot or in the car. Talking is a great way to develop vocabulary. Make sure you have special time with your child throughout the day when you're not distracted by television or the telephone. Make time where you just talk. The better your child is at listening and following instructions, the more successful they will settle into school. Party games such as Simon Says or Freeze Dance are good examples of how you might support your child develop their listening skills. Recent studies have shown that there's been a decline in the amount of parents who read to their preschoolers on a daily basis. Reading to your child helps them to build their vocabulary, imagination, creativity, attention, and understanding of story structure, which will then support them in their writing. This is one of the best times to settle down with your child or children to share a book. If you find bedtime too stressful, take a look at your daily routine and find a time where you can carve in story time. It really is that important. You can listen to audiobooks as a whole family on a journey somewhere and you can talk about what you've heard and what happened in the story when it's finished. The library is an excellent and low-cost outing on the weekends to do as a family and the perfect time to read with your children. Staff are also very helpful and can recommend books for all of the family. If you haven't already joined the local library, make sure you do it. In reception, children will be taught phonics on a daily basis. More information will be shared at your school once your child starts. But the main aim is for children to be able to see a letter and say the sound it represents out loud. Children then need to go from saying the individual sounds of each letter and begin to blend the sounds to say the whole word. Many children will not start reception ready to hold a pencil with the correct grip and form letters perfectly. To be able to do this, they must first develop gross motor skills and fine motor skills to help prepare them for when they are taught how to correctly form letters. Gross motor skills are larger movements your child makes with their arms, legs or entire body. Make sure you give your child a lot of opportunities to run, jump, balance, skip and climb. Fine motor skills are smaller movements that occur in wrists, hands, fingers, and toes.
By talking with your child, you are developing the vocabulary they will need to be able to write. And by encouraging their gross and fine motor skills, you're preparing them to be able to physically write. These are great starting points. Other ways to encourage writing are... It is important to encourage and provide the opportunities for your children to mark make. If you do not already have an area where children can independently access pens, pencils, whiteboards, papers, and other things they can write on, it might be a good idea to set this up or have a box where it's stored. You can then encourage children to go to this area and help write a shopping list or label their Lego model. Your child will learn by watching you write. Whilst going about everyday activities, ensure you show and talk to them about what you are writing. Before children write their name, it is important that they can recognize their own name. If your child is keen to write their name, of course encourage this. Just ensure they learn to write with a capital letter at the start because they're special and lowercase letters for the rest of their name. Your child will not be expected to count to 100 and do sums. It is, however, beneficial that they have the language of mathematics and are aware of numbers and counting. Counting in everyday activities, both forwards and backwards, will introduce your child to the language of counting. Do this when completing everyday routines such as counting the stairs as you climb them, counting backwards as you go down, counting fruit into a bag at the supermarket. How many goals can they sco score? Also, singing well-known number rhymes with your child will help prepare them, such as five little ducks, one, two, buckle my shoe, ten green bottles, Encouraging children to count out their favorite objects and asking them to give you a set number of objects are a great way to practice counting skills. You can also then introduce number recognition if you feel your child is interested. In reception, your child will be learning and using the language associated with shape, space and measure. When going about daily activities, try to use the following language. I want to reassure you that your child will meet their developmental milestones when they are ready. The ideas in the videos are suggestions of activities you can do with your child. Choose the activity you think will be best suited for your child and most of all make sure they have fun. Starting reception is a really special time. It's the start of their journey in education. Good luck!